Kids is a local nonprofit um, here in the state of Arizona, and what we do is we give hope to families who have a child diagnosed with a life-threatening illness. So the majority of our kids have cancer, but it could be heart issues, um, kidney transplants, certain genetic disorders, anything that has a life-threatening component. We come alongside these families to give them hope by um, providing a calendar of weekly events for families, such as movie screenings, ice skating, um, festivals with rock wall, any, it's every single week, sporting events, um, private suites, just something where they can build memories as a family, meet other families that are going, um, going through what they are, similar battles, and just um, build relationships and bring families together and have fun. We've got a house decorating put on by uh, Phoenix Cottery Cherries and uh, Arizona Home Decorators, I believe it is. Um, we were selected from a charity that we belong to, Hope Kids. So we were chosen to come out and do the decorations, which was pretty important this year. Is a, it was going to be a tough year to decorate. So we've got that going on. Emily's also doing a, a raffle of a uh, signed hockey stick for a young boy, Noah Medeiros, to help defray the cost of medicine and treatment and maybe a, a gift or two under the tree that he wouldn't have gotten otherwise. In 2008, uh, October 6, 2008, I got diagnosed with ALL leukemia and it's like blood cancer and I didn't know what it was so I was like and then my, the doctor came in she said she has leukemia my mom started crying and I was like it's something bad and I, I was totally clueless um, so she said it's cancer Emily is a special, special girl. She um, has gone through so much, and I'm gonna <laughs> get emotional. This is where I'm gonna get emotional. I, I would go and visit Emily in the hospital, and um, Emily and her mom. And when Emily would have long hospital stays, so she couldn't come to our events, and so we would bring the hope to her in the hospital. And um, yeah, she's just a special girl, and so she's gone through so much. Um, she's in remission and doing well herself now, but now she wants to give back to other kids and help other families, and that's what she started her own foundation um, in the process of doing that, and Precious Neighbor Foundation, and so she is um, learning to, to give back and just share her heart with other families. She's been almost two years off treatment in December, so next month. Uh, once she got done with that, she decided that, uh, you know, it was tough during times to figure out, you know, to stay happy and stay up and stuff like that. And we received a lot of gifts and a lot of presents and a lot of things from our friends, family, and, and other folks that heard about us. So she made it her mission to do the same, to help children with life-threatening diseases. So she's raised probably $1,500 um, for different children um, throughout the state. So it's so great to see and I'll remember it forever and I'm so grateful and blessed to have people like you guys just wanting to help and wanting to make our lives easier.